Hey guys, it's Gab. Today, we're not going to explore the world. I mean, well, yeah. But, yeah. This is episode 9. Always remember to subscribe and hit that like button. Let's just get into this. I don't even know. Oh, I have a level up. You guys should have told me I have a level up. Okay. supposed to do. Deliver a dragon stone to fairy. Okay. Dragon's reach. Hope you guys enjoy this series. Sorry if you can't. I don't know what I was going to say, but yeah, I just hope you enjoy the series. And yeah. Okay, we're at Grand Reach. If you need potions, you should try Arcadia's Cauldron. You see? The terminal? Ah! The Dragon Stone of Bleak Falls Barrow! Seems you are a cut above the usual brutes the Jarl sends my way. You'll have to see the Jarl about that. Maybe his steward, Avenici. I'm sure one of them will pay you appropriately. My associate here will be pleased to see your handiwork. She discovered its location by means she has so far declined to share with me. So your information was correct after all. And we have our friend here to thank for recovering it for us. You went into Bleak Falls Barrow and got that? Nice work. Just send me a copy when you Faringa. deciphered it. Faringa, you need to come at once. A dragon's been sighted nearby. You should come too. A dragon? How exciting. Uh, okay. Where was it seen? Well, what was it doing? <clears throat> I'd take this a bit more seriously if I were you. I don't know if we can stop it. Let's go. Fill out that. So, Irileth tells me you came from the Western Watchtower? Yes, my lord. Tell him what you told me about the dragon. No, oh, that's right. We saw it coming from the south. It was fast. Faster than anything I've ever seen. What did it do? Is it attacking the watchtower? No, my lord. It was just circling overhead when I left. I never ran so fast in my life. I thought it would have come after me, for sure. Good work, son. We'll take it from here. Head down to the barracks for some food and rest. You've earned it. Irleth, you'd better gather some guardsmen and get down there. I've already ordered my men to muster near the main gate. Good. Don't fail me. Now I'm should be filled up. Yeah, look at that. Okay. There's no time to stand on ceremony, my friend. I need your help again. I want you to go with Irileth and help her fight this dragon. Okay. You survived Helgen, so you have more experience with dragons than anyone else here. 
But I sure. haven't forgotten the service you did for me in retrieving the Dragonstone for Faringar. As a token of my esteem, I have instructed Avenici that you are now permitted to purchase property in the city. And please, accept this gift from my personal armory. I should come along. I would very much like to see this dragon. No. I can't afford to risk both of you. I need you to get working on me. Good luck. I hope you get there in time. No signs of any dragon right now, but it sure looks like he's been here. I know it looks bad, but we've got to figure out what happened. And if that dragon is still skulking around. No, get back. It's still here somewhere. Proki and Tor just got grabbed when they tried to make a run for it. Let's save us. Here he comes again.
dark. Power is that. I'm proud to be your battle brother, Dragonborn. Whitron doesn't need to fear with you on our side. I can't believe it. You're Dragonborn. In the very oldest tales, back from when there were still dragons in Skyrim, the Dragonborn would slay dragons and steal their power. That's what you did, isn't it? Absorb the dragon's power. Yeah. Yes, I think I am. You can shout now. That can only mean one thing. You must be dragonborn. Dragonborn? What are you talking about? That's right. My grandfather used to tell stories about the dragonborn. Those born with the dragon blood in them. Like old Tiber Septon himself. I've never heard of Tiber Septon killing any dragons. There weren't any dragons then, idiot. They are just coming back now for the first time in... forever. But the old tales tell of the dragonborn who could kill dragons and steal their power. You must be one. What do you say, Irleth? You're being awfully quiet. Come on, Irleth. Tell us. Do you believe in this dragonborn business? <laughs> Some of you would be better off keeping quiet than flapping your gums on matters you don't know anything about. Here's a dead dragon, and that's something I definitely understand. Now we know we can kill them. But I don't need some mythical dragonborn. Someone who can put down a dragon is more than enough for me. You wouldn't understand, Housecar. You ain't at all. I've been all across Tamriel. I've seen plenty of things just as outlandish as this. I'd advise you all to trust in the strength of your sword arm over tales and legends. That was shouting, what you just did. Must be. You really are Dragonborn, then. Oh. Oh. He summons the Thu. We taught that dragon not to mess with White Run, didn't we? Look, you've already been told you're not allowed here. Turn around and go back the way you came. We're causing no trouble. All we ask is to look for her. I don't care what you're doing. After what happened, you're lucky I don't toss you in jail. Now get lost. We will be back. This is not over. Peace out. You there. We're looking for someone in Whiterun. We'll pay good money for information. <laughs> 